has a full tummy from this afternoon with all that delicious soup. Uh, I won't announce. I'll give Beth the opportunity to do that. She worked really hard on that this afternoon, but so she's got some great news on that. So um, she'll share that here shortly also. Get your hymnals and turn to page 179. This is one that I didn't even realize was in this book, so we're going to sing it. Thank you so much for being here. 179. I hadn't heard no pages turn. 179. You're going to need them because you don't know it all. Ready? Here we go. The blood that Jesus shed for me way back on Calvary the blood that gives me strength from day to day, it will never lose its power, cause it reaches to the highest mountain, and it flows. these three getting baptized that got saved. Hallelujah. I want to welcome you tonight to the Parkway Thrill Baptist Church. What a joy it is to have all of our families tonight uh, that's here to support 
uh, those that will be baptized just in a little while. What an awesome time this is, and we want to make this a memorable time for you uh, tonight. So we thank you for all the support, the families that are here tonight, those that were able to be back with us tonight as well. Well, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Amen. Well, Father, we love you, and we thank you so much for loving us. For We realize the importance of the blood of Christ that will never lose its authority, its place, its purpose, nor its power. The Bible reminds us without the shedding of the blood, there is no salvation. And Father, we just want to praise you for three, these three tonight, for Sister Brandy tonight, Father, Sister Ashley, and Brother Gunner. Lord, just in a little while as we're entering into the baptismal pool, to identify with that death and that resurrection, of our Lord and Savior. Once again, we say thank you to all the families that are here, the, the brothers, the sisters, the mom and dads, aunts and uncles and grandparents and friends and families from far away. Now, Father, let us, this service is dedicated unto you, Father, and we thank you in Christ's name. Amen, amen, amen. Sister Beth. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who came and ate today, and we have a big announcement. My um, husband was counting the money, and I told him, um, don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me, and then um, he made me guess, which made me really mad, because I don't like to do that. <laughs> so I guessed 500, hoping and praying that that was the number, and the number was over 1,000. So we are well on our way, well on our way, yes, very much. So um, we are so excited about that. Miss Kim and the rest of the group, we're going to do a um, spaghetti lunch on St. Patrick's Day on the 17th of March, and you'll hear more about that. And then if you have not signed up for the painting, the sign painting, the lady's going to come and you get to choose between a template and she helps you do everything. That's going to happen in April and we're hoping that that will be our last fundraiser. But if not, we still have a little bit of time after that. A small lonely hill that he knew would be Calvary. Then he made the seed that would grow to be thorns that would make his son bleed then he made a green stem gave it leaves and then gave it sunshine and rain and covered it with moss he grew the tree for he
in his eyes. God looked down through time, saw him spat upon, rejected, oh, and he was mauled. Still he grew that tree, for he knew it would be used to make the old rugged cross. Nothing took his life, with love he still gave it, he was crucified. said a lot this morning about the cross, amen? You never get tired of the blood of Christ or the cross of Christ, the salvation of our Lord and Savior to our candidates tonight, to Brandy and to Ashley and to Gunner. Wave at me, where you at? There you go, this young man. But also let me say to the moms and dads and the parents and grandparents and the, the church and those that have helped bring the right influence to the lives of these uh, from my heart thank you for what you've done to help them and minister to them from the uh, youth and teen department uh, for ministering to uh, our young uh, teens and youth uh, to when Brandy accepted Christ as her Lord and Savior you know you done that on a special night that was on my birthday yeah <laughs> you want to give somebody a good birthday present get saved and give God all the glory amen I just noticed that on your uh, certificate and, uh, of salvation and, but it is a joy to have you with us tonight and we are so honored so honored that you're here tonight as we share in this uh, this time listen I can go back a long time and remember my baptism down at uh, the river there at Clifton, and I remember on that uh, Sunday afternoon and uh, being walking into the river, my pastor, and uh, being baptized. Now, let me say something tonight. Baptism doesn't save. That's after salvation. Amen? That is our identity. In fact, the Bible has a lot to say about baptism. I know we don't see a lot of it anymore, but it's one of the things that we should follow uh, soon after our salvation, it gives us an identity as nothing to be ashamed of. Amen? Your salvation is nothing to be ashamed of. In fact, we ought to shout it out. Amen? Thank God for His salvation. Uh, thank God for His righteousness and His holiness uh, as we live for the Lord Jesus Christ that shed His blood there on Calvary. Just a few words tonight I want to share with you in Matthew chapter 3, beginning in verse 13. Matthew chapter 3, beginning with verse 13. Baptism is for the new convert. For that one that is saved. As we walk just a few moments into the baptismal pool to be submerged, as the going under, as Christ was buried, then the coming up as he was being raised, from the dead. It's our identity. Romans chapter 6, verse 4. You can read that sometime later. But there's a purpose. There was the, 
the simple plan of baptism. Look at me, Matthew chapter. I asked you to go there, and I haven't even turned there myself. Matthew chapter 3, verse 13. Some would say, and I would say this was the Lord's inauguration into his ministry. Not that the Lord ever sinned because he could not sin. But that he showed forth the will of God to be obedient. Then comes Jesus from Galilee to Jordan under John to be baptized of him. When we was in Israel, we went over to Jordan there at the border. I don't know how many was lined up that day to get into the muddy Jordan. The people that came thousands and thousands of miles just to be part of that, just to witness that. And it's still in my memory tonight as folks was lined up, some had on white gowns and different nationalities, other countries. But I thought how important it must have felt to them to be in that Jordan where Jesus himself was baptized at. From Galilee to Jordan, it's a great distance, under John to be baptized of him. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, and comest thou to me? You'll always notice that when the Lord came, he, he always came in humility. Amen. He came in humbleness. And the way that we accept Christ is for self to die first. Amen. Self must die first, and, and self comes in, in the lowest, and, uh, uh, and, and uh, uh, Jerry, in all the, the meekness, and in humility, and in, in humbleness as we come before the Lord. Amen. To say, this is going to lay down. This will, will die to be raised up with the Lord. But any time you see Jesus coming, he, he came in humility. He came in humbleness. And even John looked at him and says, Lord, I need for you to baptize me. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Suffer it to be so now, for thus becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him, or he allowed him to come. And, and Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were open unto him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Amen. The world may not be pleased tonight. <laughs> But I thank God He is. Amen. Amen. Friends and families and co-workers may not ple be pleased sometimes with your identity in Christ because sometimes we make them feel uncomfortable. We don't mean to. We don't want to. We want them to know the Lord. But to the three of you tonight, never be ashamed of Christ. Amen. There's no fears. Amen. When you lay your head down at night, you can rest assured that God is on the throne. Amen. You can rest assured that the blood has cleansed you from all sins. Amen. You can rest assured that one day that you'll be with God. Amen. You can rest assured that I'm not alone. The Bible says, as we read earlier, Lo, I'm with you always. Amen. And for you that will come tonight, And enter in. <laughs> Amen. It's not the Jordan, it's the parkway. But that's okay. Amen. It's not a river, it's a baptismal pool. It doesn't matter to me, you're going under tonight. Amen. But you're not going to stay under, we're going to get you up. Amen. Sometimes I have to fight them. 
You know why I fight them? Because I don't have to go back and redo it. I've had people to say, I didn't go all the way under. I said, you're going to go under this time. I promise you that. <laughs> she said, uh-oh. <laughs> We're going to get you back up, Gunner. Amen. But this will follow them all the days of their life. Amen. And it ought to be not only exciting to them, but exciting to us. Will they be perfect? No. Will they walk upright for the whole of their life? No. Will there be failures and falters? You can assure that. We're in a fallen world. Will they be challenged as they continue to grow? Absolutely. But I'm telling you, at a, such of a young age, you got a good foot and amen. You got family, you got moms, you got dads, you got grandparents, aunts and uncles, and a church and a church staff and and those that will teach you and continue to help you throughout your life. Listen, I've been at this thing a long time, but I still look to men of God to, uh, for their influence and for their help, even in my life. Amen. And there's nothing wrong. Young lady, going to your mom, going to one of your student teachers, and say, you know what? I need a little help. Amen. I want to learn more. I want to do more. So, Sister Tracy, Brother Wes, Regina, many others. That is a part of your life. We shouldn't just come in here and find us a spot week after week. Amen. We're here for a purpose. And that purpose is to worship the Lord, to sing unto the Lord, to praise unto the Lord, to come to the pulpit, to read scriptures, and uh, to preach from the Word of God those things that will help us. The purpose of this baptism, the purpose of Jesus' baptism, was to carry out all that God required to accomplish the plans and the ministry the validating, the advancing of God's work. You never know how God will use you, Ashley, one day. Maybe student ministry, I don't know. Maybe a student mission trip, I don't know. We're going on one this year. One day working in the church, amen, giving you life to the Lord, raising a family in the boundaries of Christ, amen. And I know there's all kinds of pulling places, there's all kinds of people that's pulling us here and pulling us there. You, you go off to high school, you're kind of pulled this way. You go off to junior high school, starting those early years. Kids, listen at me, you're, you're pulled here and you pull there. You go off to college, we meet new people and we kind of feel like we've got to be pulled in this direction. But the Lord will give us a sure foundation, amen. You get that first job, but there's a sure foundation. The foundation of Christ. The baptism. The Lord will be led into the ministry validating his obedience to God. We're baptized because of our walk with God. We're baptized because of our conversion. We're baptized because of the salvation of the Lord. We have repented of our sins. We show the reflection of our salvation. We're, we're baptized because of Christ's commission, Matthew 28, 19. We need to help our, our new converts. Amen. Sometimes folks get saved and that's it. But I want to let you know we're here to help you. We're not here to take influence away from your directness of life, but to be part of that influence. Amen. But to be part of that influence. 
What's the phrase of baptism? What's the big picture of baptism? Laying down the old, <laughs> rising up with the new. Amen. <laughs> Dead to sin. Raised to live a new life. Colossians chapter 2, verse 1 through 2 talks about that, that new life that we have. In the name of our Father, His Son, and the Holy Spirit of God. What a comfort we have tonight. Jesus never left us in this world to be alone. He told His disciples in John chapter 14, I will not leave you comfortless. I will send the Comforter. Amen. He's not going to do that, but God puts people in our lives That'll help us, Brother Jerry. Amen. The Lord puts people in our lives to help us. And I want these three tonight to know that. I know uh, two of them is a little younger. We may feel threatened sometimes by this world. But I want to let you know tonight, God's not only loved you, but He's with you. And He goes with you. In fact, in Acts chapter 2, I think verse 38 through verse 41, the, mostly the whole chapter is Peter's sermon. And he preaches the gospel. And after he preaches, he says what? Two things. Repent and be baptized. Amen. And some 3,000, man, can you imagine 3,000 people lined up? You have to door dash your bread and fish in. 3,000 people. Amen. <laughs> Can you imagine? I think one night we had about 20 or 27. Man, I would have done waterlogged. But 3,000? Repent and be baptized. Amen. Let's stand tonight. I'm anxious to get them in the water. <laughs> I'm going to ask our candidates if the ladies will be on this side. Gunner, would you like somebody to go with you? Maybe your dad? You're, okay, you're a big boy. Come on. I love his name. I love Gunner because when I first met him, he says, Gunner. I said, man, that sounds like a future TV show. Gunner. I like that. Hey, folks, let's love these kids around here. Amen. Let's love them. I know the families do, but let's love them, and let's continue to be that influence. If you'll give us your... years ago. Cool. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That's right.
That's right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We do. We do. That's exactly right. I love these kids. Y'all know how much I love all these kids, and they all have my phone number, and I don't care. They can call me day or night. I'll text them, and they've texted me late at night saying, Miss Regina, will you pray? And in a heartbeat, y'all know me, I'll stop and do it right then, because if I don't do it right then, I'm always afraid I'll forget. So I literally stop and pray right at that moment. And sometimes we forget the struggles that they're facing and going through because we think, you know, when we look back on our high school, we thought it was terrible. Well, we have no idea what these kids are facing nowadays in high school or junior high as far as that goes, middle school, and sometimes even in the elementary school. So it can be rough and it can be tough. But they make the difference. They make the difference. Gunner captured my heart when he uh, asked to, for Jesus to come into his heart and his soul. And, of course, we was in we was in class back there, and I said, now, Gunner, and I told the same thing to Ashley. Have a seat, young man. There you go. Thank you, baby. So when we were back there, and, and, and we were in class, and I told Gunner after he asked Jesus into his heart, I said, now, Gunner, I said, this is what you need to do, and I told the same to Ashley. Ashley got saved in, in uh, the teen class down here with all the teens gathered around her and the hovering around her and praying with Ashley, which was totally awesome for them because she went. And we made that little table there become our altar, and we had our song, and uh, she came forward and everything. So, but what I told them, I says, you, what, what makes the difference is, is to go into the church and go to the altar and pray. When I got saved when I was eight years old, many years ago, many, many years ago, but I remember, and I got saved at a vacation Bible school, in a vacation Bible school when I was with the teacher, and when I sat down, she said, now, Miss Regina... Just call, well, she called me Gina. I went by Gina then. Gina, now church is going to be here this Sunday. And on Sunday, what I need for you to do is when the invitation is given, she says, this is for you because this will help you. I didn't really realize how much of a help that was for me. But it was almost like it was a confirmation for me because it takes a lot to get up out of that seat. When you take that first step, God takes every other step for you. You only got to take the first one. That's the only one you got to take is that very first one. He takes every other one and, you, and you're on your knees. And those children did come and pray. And Brandy, bless her little heart, she's just, uh, she, uh, so super quiet, just a, a, a meek, mild mother. And I, I, I was determined to bring her out. <laughs> I was determined. And Tabitha, too. We worked on that one. And, uh, but she was real. And that's what she told me. She said, Miss Regina, she said, I have been to the altar many times. And she said, I have prayed. And she said, and I've asked Jesus into my heart. She said, but this was different. She said, I was doing it every other time for everybody else. This time I did it for me. You got to do what you do for yourself, you know? I mean, you can't impress others. You got to do it between you and God. It makes a difference. So when I see the blood, while they changing clothes, he's old, he's slower. Okay, here we go. Well, he, 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 we're going to sing it anyway. All right. Christ our Redeemer died on the cross, died for the sinner, paid all the dues. All who receive him need never fear. Yes, he will pass, will pass over you. When I see the blood, when I see the blood, when I see the blood, I will pass, I will pass over you. Oh, great compassion, oh, boundless love. Jesus has power, Jesus is true. All who believe are saved from the storm. Oh, he will pass, will pass over you. When I see the blood, when I see the blood, when I see the blood, I will pass, I will pass over you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
and is Lord and Savior, we baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit of God. Is there 
Amen. September 26th, 2023. That was the greatest. I want to thank you, ladies, and Sister Randy as well. And uh, let's pray for our young families. Amen. Amen. I don't think there's anything that the devil wants to do today to tear our families apart. To tear our homes apart. So I'm proud of Randy, proud of her family, and uh, young mother, young Christian, and let's lift her up in the name of Christ. Amen.
beneath the bridge in Nashville, Tennessee. Someone looked my way and asked, who are they? I said, it looks like Jesus to me. It looks like Jesus to me. It looks like what he's called us to be. I think that's what he'd do if he were me and you. When we love the broken people that we see, it looks like Jesus to me. around him and pray with their arms around him and love him like he's family it looks like Jesus to me it looks like what he's called us to be I think that's what he do he were me and you when we love the broken people that we see. Looks like Jesus to me. Have you ever wondered what he looked like? His Looks like Jesus to me. It looks like what he's called us to be. I think that's what he'd do if he were me and you. When we love the broken people that we see. When we love the broken people. Looks like Jesus to me. Looks like Jesus to me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Brothers and sisters in Christ. Let's give all three of them a big hand tonight. I'm going to call your names. Won't you come and just stand right in front here, okay? Miss Ashley Zelensky. Covered by the blood. February the 4th, 2024, the day of your baptism, uh, the day that you became a child of God, February the 11th, 2024. 
Thank you, Alex. Just stand right there. Just give you a hand. Get all three of them up here. Mr. Gunner Jarvis. Amen. <laughs> Covered by the blood, February 4th, 2024. Your baptism, February the 11th, 2024. Now look at Miss Regina because she's going to make this. <laughs> Miss Brandy Smith. Hey, man, that's right. The day that you accepted Christ was covered by the blood of Christ, September 26, 2022. The day of your baptism, February 11th, 2024. Boy, you're going to be taking pictures your whole life. Come on up here. Hey, Amen. Let's all stand tonight. And I know this may not seem a lot to the world, but there's rejoicing in heaven tonight, amen? And that's what it's all about. To please our Lord and Savior, to live for Him. For everyone that came, thank you so much for being here with the family tonight. We're praying for them. And please, from the bottom of our heart, if we can ever be a help to you, please let us know, amen? We love you. God bless you. Uh, Brother Jarvis, it's good to have you tonight. Would you dismiss us in a word of prayer?